Hello friends, uh, welcome to Learners Planet. Friends, this is our fifth session for progression and series. In the last session, we discussed the problems based on arithmetic progression where we have been given uh, the three numbers that is A, B, C and A, P and we had to establish certain relationships. Okay, so in this session, we are going to take some more problems based on arithmetic progressions. In fact, we are going to discuss arithmetic mean also. So just get ready with your paper and pen and let's begin the session. Now friends, uh, let's discuss geometric progression. See what happens, as we have discussed arithmetic progression, the common difference between two consecutive terms remains same throughout the series, right? So in arithmetic progression, common difference remains same. Now what happens in geometric progression, I just give you an example, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32 and so on. Now what is happening? What is the relationship between these two? Here you can see 4 divided by 2 is 2. 8 divided by 4 is 2, 16 divided by 8 is 2, 32 divided by 16 is 2, right? Now here, what is happening? The common ratio is same, right? If second term divided by first term, second term divided by the first term, second term divided by the first term, you are getting 2 everywhere, okay? So in this sequence, common ratio is same. In the case of arithmetic progression, common difference is same. In case of geometric progression, common ratio is same. So, common difference and common ratio. Okay. Now, what? Suppose the first term of the GP is A. Then the second term will be AR. Right? Common ratio. This divided by this is R. The third term will be AR square. Fourth term will be AR cube. Similarly, nth term will be AR n minus 1. Why n minus 1? See, in second term, there is 1R. Third term, 2R fourth term 3 3r so in nth term n minus 1 r so this is what the nth term of a gp okay r is the common ratio a is the first term and this is the nth term now here r can be more than 1 or r can be less than 1 the common ratio can be more than 1 but, and the common ratio can be less than 1, right? If the sequence is suppose 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, 1, 1 by 2 and so on, in that case common ratio is less than 1 because how do you find the common ratio? This term divided by this term, okay? Second term divided by first term. So 16 by 32, the common ratio is half, okay? So and over here, the common ratio is more than 1, that is 2. So, common ratio can be more than 1, it can be less than 1. Now, sum of a geometric progression. Sum of a geometric progression, I denote it by S. It will be A plus AR plus AR square plus AR cube till ARN minus 1. Okay? So it will be, you just have to learn the formula, A R raised to N minus 1 upon R minus 1 if R is greater than 1 and the sum will be A 1 minus R raised to N upon 1 minus R if R is less than 1, right? So both the things, both the formula is same. Just we have to see whether R is greater than 1 or less than 1. If R is greater than 1, we'll write R minus 1 and R is 2N minus 1. And if R is less than 1, we'll write 1 minus R is 2N and 1 minus R. That's it. Okay. So you have to learn the formula. You have to remember the formula. Next important and a very important thing is sum of an infinite progression. When the uh, sum of an infinite progression, that is S infinity. Now, what is, what is an infinite progression? Sup suppose I have a progression that is say 1, 1 by 2, 1 by 4, 1 by 8 and this is going and going and going, right? There is no nth term over here, right? The sequence is going till infinity. So, we, uh, we say it an infinite geometric progression when there are no fixed number of terms, 
that means the series is going till infinity so we can find out the sum of this series provided the common ratio is less than 1 right now if the common ratio is more than 1 then 2 4 8 16 you'll be getting bigger and bigger and bigger and very big big terms okay so obviously you cannot find out the sum of this uh, big this uh, big terms okay so when r is greater than 1 you cannot find out the sum of geometric progression or you cannot find out the sum of an infinite geometric progression but if r is less than 1 you can find out the sum of a geometric progression or you can say sum of an infinite geometric progression why see gradually the terms will be very smaller and smaller and smaller sometimes you will be getting 1 divided by a very very small number a very very big number so if 1 is divided by a very big number overall this quantity will be very small it is as good as 0 right as good as not equal to 0 but as good as 0 right so on this principle sum of an infinite geometric progression is calculated okay so precisely this is the formula with us when we have to calculate sum of a geometric progression this is the formula with us and the preliminary condition that the common ratio should be less than 1 if at all you have an infinite geometric progression okay so it is a 1 minus r raised to n upon 1 minus r where n tends to infinity right number of terms not fixed they are going till infinity now since r is less than 1 now what happens r is to n will be tending towards 0 right because r is less than 1 and a fraction that is less than 1 if it is having a very very big power then it will be as good as 0 equivalent to 0 I can say not equal to 0 but it is it will be very small that we can consider it to be 0 suppose 1 upon 1 lakh if you are getting so like 1 upon 1 lakh is a very small term that we can write it as 0 ok so s infinity will be equal to this r raised to n will be 0 then we are having a upon 1 minus r so that is a formula for an infinite geometric progression and here compulsorily r should be less than 1 ok so I have discussed the three formula that is nth term of an geom uh, a geometric progression sum of a geometric progression in two cases and sum of an infinite geometric progression ok now suppose we have to take the three terms which are in geometric progression so in case of arithmetic progression the common difference between the two consecutive term is same here in geometric progression the common ratio between the two term is same so if at all you have to take three terms which are in GP so what will what will you take a by r a and a r right so if you multiply all of them you will be getting a cube only so this way you can find out the value of middle term so when you have to select the three terms in GP you need to select this these three terms okay now let's take some simple problems based on geometric progression now let's take the simple question which term of GP this is this so we don't know which term is this so we assume this to be nth term right so this is nth term nth term of a GP is a r n minus 1 and this is actually 1 upon 128 right so and a is 2 common ratio is second term divided by first term so that is 1 by 2 ok so 1 upon 2 raised to n minus 1 is equal to 1 upon 256 now 1 upon 256, 256 is actually 2 raised to, uh, we can factorize it, 2 raised to 6 is 64, then 128 and 256. So it is 2 raised to 7, 2 raised to 8. Okay, so 1 upon 2 raised to n minus 1 is equal to 1 upon 2 raised to 8. Or I can say 
वन अपॉन टू रेज टू एन माइनस वन इज इक्वल टू वन अपॉन टू रेज टू एट ना इफ बेस इज सेम पावर विल ऑल्सो भी सेम सो एन माइनस वन इज इक्वल टू एट एन इज इक्वल टू नाइन सो वन अपॉन वन ट्वेंटी एट इज एक्चुअली नाइन्थ टर्म ऑफ दिस ज्योमेट्रिक प्रोग्रेशन एज सिंपल एज दैट ओके ना फोर्थ सेवेंथ एंड द लास्ट टर्म ऑफ अ जी पी आर दिस 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 अ फाइंड द फर्स्ट टर्म एंड नंबर ऑफ टर्म्स ना If the GP is the first term is a and common ratio is r, so fourth term will be a r cube. That is fourth term, and that is actually ten. Then seventh term will be a r six, and that is eighty. And uh, last term, that which term is the last term that we don't know? I assume th this to be n. So nth term is a r n minus one, and that is two five. Six zero. So we have to find out the first term and number of terms in GP. That means we have to find out a n n. Okay. So first of all, what we do? We divide this expression by this expression. So a r raised to six upon a r cube is equal to eighty by ten. That is eight. R raised a and a is cancelled. So r cube is equal to eight. It is two cube. So precisely r is equal to two. Okay. So we got the value of r. So if we put the value of r over here, we can get the value of a. So a into eight, that is r cube is eight is equal to ten. That means a is equal to ten by eight, or we can say five by four. Right, so we got the value of a also. Now we have to find out the value of n. So I put the value of a over here. So that is five by four into r is two. So two raised to n minus one is equal to two five six zero. Okay, from here we can calculate the value of n. So here it is. Two raised to n minus one is equal to two five six zero into four by five. Five fives are twenty five. Five one and two. So two raised to n minus one is equal to five one two is actually two raised to six is sixty four. Then one twenty eight two fifty six five one two. So seven eight nine. It is actually two raised to nine, and it is two raised to two. So two raised to n minus one is equal to two raised to eleven. So base is same. So power will also be same. N minus one is equal to eleven. That means n is equal to twelve. So how many terms are there? Twelve terms are there. Okay. Now. Find four terms in GP in which the third term is greater than the first term by nine and second term is greater than the fourth by eighteen. Okay, so we assume the fourth term, uh, four terms to be a, a r, a r square, and a r cube, right? Now the third term is greater than the first by nine. That means a r square by minus a is equal to nine, and uh, a r cube minus Second term is greater than the fourth by eighteen. Second term is a r minus a r cube is equal to eighteen. Right here, second term is greater, and over here the third term is greater. So a r square minus a is nine, and a r minus a r cube is eighteen. So here, from here, we can take a as common. So a r square minus one is equal to nine, and from here we can take uh, a r as common. So we'll be getting one minus r square, and that is eighteen. Okay. Now, if I divide this by this, what I'll be getting? This is r square minus one. This is one minus r square. So I'll be getting minus one. And this is cancelled, right? So one up and this is one upon two. So one upon r is equal to minus one upon two. 
that means r is equal to minus 2 that means the common ratio is minus 2 okay now if I put the value of r over here I'll be able to get the value of a right so a and r square is what 4 minus a is equal to 9 so 4a minus a square is equal to 9 or I can say a square sorry this is if a I had taken common so it will be 4 minus 1 so 4 minus 1 is uh, 3 3a is 9 that means a is equal to 3 so this is 3 this is minus 6 then this is 12 and this is uh, minus 8 into 3 minus 24 so all the four terms can be found very easily okay now if the sum of three numbers in GP is 38 and their product is 1728 find them now I have already told you if you have to select the three terms in GP what you'll be selecting a by r a and a r right now their sum is 38 and product is 1728 so a by r into a into a r is 1728 so r and r is cancelled a cube is equal to 1728 and that is actually 12 cube so a is equal to 12 okay now you got the value of a you put up the value of a over here you will be able to get the value of r okay so it is if I take LCM it is 12 by R plus 12 plus 12 R is equal to 38 okay so I take LCM it's 12 plus 12 R plus 12 R square is equal to 38 R so it is 12 r square 12 r minus 38 r is minus 26 r plus 12 is equal to 0 okay I uh, divide this equation by 2 so 6 r square minus 13 r plus 6 is equal to 0 now 13 r sum should be 13 and product must be 36 so we can get the factors as 4 and 9 so 6 r square minus 4 r minus 9 r plus 6 is equal to 0 take 2 r common 3 r minus 2 minus 3 common 3 r minus 2 is equal to 0 so 2 r minus 3 is equal to 0 so r is equal to 3 by 2 or 2 by 3 ok so we got the 2 value of r 3 by 2 or 2 by 3 so if you put up the value of r over here you'll be getting the three terms of the GP okay so friends in the next session we'll be taking more problems based on geometric progression do revise this session and the previous ones bye bye